Welcome back to Wee Willy Wonderful's video tutorial for, for our knitted bunnies. And in this tutorial, we're actually going to get knitting. Let's get started. Um, so looking at our pattern, we are starting with the bow or bow tie. They're both exactly the same, no matter which one you're making. So we are making the rectangle shape here. Now we're starting with this because it's the most easy, straightforward part of the bunny. So that's the easiest place to start. And we will show you how to get this nice bow fit later. But for now, we're just making that little rectangle. So our first instruction, it always tells you which colour to use, um, anything else at the beginning before you start and how many you're making. So the bow bow tie, it's exactly the same instruction. We're just going to make one using our contrast colour. So that is the bow colour. Um, you can go through and pull a colour off and start with the blue, cut a section off, start with the colour you want. But we're going to start with this because we think that's a nice colour anyway. So we are going to cast on 12 stitches. Now a nice easy way as well to mark your pattern is to use, we do some really cute washi tape on our website, but you can just use a little post-it note. And we can pop that under where we're up to. You can tick it off if you want. Some people use lines to mark the stitch, the row numbers. Something to make it easy so you can follow where you're up to, especially when you're learning. Keep it as simple as we can. So we're going to cast on 12 stitches, leaving a 10 centimetre strand. Now, if we're leaving a strand, it's often just there to, to make it easy to sew up. So it's just the right size that we need. Um, and then the number in brackets at the end is 12 because we're going to have 12 stitches once we have cast on. So let's get started. So let's undo a little bit of our yarn. Here's our knitting needles. And we are going to start with a slip knot. So I'll zoom in slightly just to make it a little bit easier to see. And then we are going to just make a slip knot. So this is the working yarn because that goes to the ball and this is just goes to the end. So if we ever mention working yarn, it's the section that goes to the ball. So what we're going to do to create a slip knot is we're just going to cross those over so we've got a little loop and then the yarn that goes to the ball we're just going to place it underneath and then we're going to grab it from the top and gently pull it through and that is a slip knot simple as that so practice that a few times just so you've got the hang of it pause the video rewind it whatever works for you repeat that a few times but you will use that quite a lot and it's, it's nice and easy so we've got an adjustable ring um, which is perfect for popping on our knitting needle. If you want to make it smaller, we simply pull that strand. Or if you want to make it bigger, we simply just pull up like that. So you can just adjust it so that it fits. And that is called our slip knot. So what we're going to do is pop that on our needle. Like so. Now I'm actually right-handed, um, but you can actually use do a mirror image and do it the opposite way if you're left-handed. might be a little bit tricky to follow, but it's um, just doing it the opposite side. So using your dominant hand to hold this. So we've got that on, slip knot on the needle. And you don't want it so tight that you can't move it, but you just want a tiny space so you can get your other needle in. So now we have a slip knot. We're going to cast on and do our first stitch. Now, when I was taught when I was little, the, the mantra I always learned was in, over, through and off. So we're going to use that just as something to, to keep, keep you to track where you're up to. So what we're going to do is get our second needle and we're going to go under that and we're going to push it through. But the needle is going to go behind the other one like so. So that is the in. Now, make sure that you don't accidentally pick up this one. She won't get very far using the strand that goes to the ball, the working yarn. So have them like that in a little V-shape. Now the over, we're going to get the yarn and we're going to wrap it round the back and through the middle. I'll just show you that again. So we're going to go round the back of the back needle and through the middle. So that is over. Now this is probably the trickiest bit. We're going to hold everything tightly um, I'm holding on to this as well, just to make sure it doesn't slip off. So we're holding on our needles like so. Now it will take a little bit of practice to get used to holding them, however it's comfortable for you. Now the through, what we're going to do is hold everything steady. And we're going to be using this needle 
and we're going to be catching this strand that we've just pulled through. So we're going to go through and we're going to catch that, pull it through. So that's the through. And then the off would normally be, would normally drop this section when we're doing a normal knit stitch. But because we're casting on, we do something slightly different because we're trying to create more stitches. So instead, I'm going to put this back on my needle. I'm going to get that and put it like that. Now that is classed as the in on the next stitch. Now we're going to do over again. Through. I'll just show you like that so you can see what's happening. And then we're going to put this one on the needle. So we're going to, I'll just show you, we're going underneath it like so, up through the middle like that. And then we're already in position, that's our in position. So now we're going to go over again and through. And then we're going to put that on. If you look carefully which way I'm doing it, I'm not doing it that way. I'm going underneath and through the loop. Try very carefully not to split the wool with the end of your needle. So make sure you keep it whole. Try not to split it. So I'm going to go over again. I'll try and do it from the top as well so you can see what's happening. And then we're going through. So we're pulling that and catching that thread that we've just put over. Like so, getting our needle straight again, and then we're going in there, like so. Now what we're going to do is count how many we've got on here. So one, two, three, four, five. Each loop on our knitting needle is a stitch. Um, so we're casting on 12, so we've got one, two, three, four, five. So we need to keep going, so we're going to go over, through, and then pop that on that needle. You want let's do it, just do it as slowly as you need to. Now we're trying to keep these loops, we don't want them really big and baggy like that, and we don't want them so tight that you struggle to work with them. We want them just comfortable, so they're around the needle, but not too loose or too tight. If when you start knitting you find that it's all a little bit out, so you've got a baggy bit and then a tight bit, that's very normal. That'll even out as you practice. And as soon as you get a little bit practice, you'll do it without even thinking. You won't even think about your tension. It'll just happen naturally. So we're going to go over again, through, pop that on our needle. So this is casting on. So we'll just keep going until we have 12. It's even a little bit quicker, but just rewind those beginning parts. So you can see it done slowly until you've got the hang of it. So here we go. One. Let me just count those. So we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we need another two. So we're going to go over, through, and on that needle again. So that'll be eleven. And then over, through. And on here again. Now I'm going to take my second needle out because I think we have our 12 and we'll give them another count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well done. You have just cast on 12 stitches. If you're using another pattern, it says cast on 30 stitches, 5 stitches. You just keep going until you've got the correct number. And that is the end of your first row. So all our stitches are ready to start knitting. So if you want to catch me in the next video, once you have your 12 stitches, just keep going. You might have to replay it 50 times, but just keep going. As soon as you've got those, we'll be ready for the next video.